Hello there guys, it's Joel here, aka Galax. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is clothing that I regret buying in 2023. Uh, I didn't necessarily buy all these pieces this year, some are from like last year or the year before as well. Um, but over time, our style evolves and we kind of realize that maybe a purchase that we made wasn't the smartest move. Um, so that's kind of what these videos are about. And these videos are kind of to remind me that maybe I shouldn't impulse buy. Because a lot of these things were an impulse purchase, to be honest. Which kind of speaks for itself, if you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, hi, my name's Joel, aka Galax. You can find me, uh, you can subscribe here on YouTube if you enjoy this video. You can click the bell for notifications, that always helps. You can give this video a thumbs up, that would be incredible if you enjoy it. Uh, you can find me over on Instagram at Galax and TikTok at Galax as well. If you want to see more of my daily outfits and inspiration and stuff like that, then head over there. I recently did clothing that I don't regret. Um, and they're pieces that I'm just so happy with and wear constantly. So I'll leave a link to that in the description box if you want to check that out as well. And before I get into this, I just want to say that it doesn't mean that I don't like these pieces. I obviously do like these pieces. The matter of fact is that I just don't wear them. So I kind of value things on their cost per wear. So if something is expensive, but I wear it often, frequently, a lot, then I feel like it's worth the money that I paid. But if I paid a lot for something and I wear it once and I actually don't go to put it on or I can't wear it all the time, then it kind of loses its value to me personally. I think it's really good now and again, maybe every six months, every year, to look at your wardrobe, take a step back and be like, what do I wear? What do I not wear? Are there any gaps in your wardrobe for things that you could wear all the time? Like a certain pair of jeans, a certain pair of trousers that you could introduce. I myself know I have like three good pairs of trousers that I kind of just rotate all the time. It's either my Arcana ripped denim, Arcana zip off cargoes, or my bare knuckles smart trousers. They're the only three trousers I really wear, so I'm definitely on the market for another pair of trousers to like introduce, if you know what I mean. But then with also with doing that, you find the things that you don't wear a lot as well. And there's probably a lot more in my wardrobe that I don't wear, but these are kind of like the key pieces of things that I really do not wear that much. Uh, I'm gonna start with the big, big boy. That is the off-white x-ray suit. Uh, so this is actually a runway piece. I have the full suit here. It is incredible. So it's trousers and it's a suit and it has a, a skeleton x-ray printed on top of the denim. So the suit is denim. So there's already a few things working against me here. The fact that it's denim makes it unbelievably heavy and very, very warm. Second, it is outrageous. It's kind of like my Y Project Jean-Paul Gaultier, but this one is even louder in a sense. And also the Y Project Jean-Paul Gaultier one is black and white, whereas this is blue. So that's another thing. It's heavy, it's thick, it's blue. It has a skeleton on it. It is very, very cool. The practicality of this, like where am I wearing this? Maybe an award show, maybe a fancy dinner. Um, it's, yeah, it's very impractical. I just thought it was incredible and it's like a grail piece and I'm sure to some people it is like a highly sought after collector's piece because uh, I don't think they made a lot of these either. So it is a very, very unique and rare piece. Should I have got maybe a leather jacket of the same value that I could wear every single day? Yes, probably. Um, so yeah, that is why the off-white suit x-ray suit is on my clothing that I regret for 2023. Secondly, we have a repeat offender from last year's video. It's another big boy and it is the Balenciaga Gucci Hacker Project puffer jacket. So this stems from the clones collection, although it wasn't actually on the runway, um, but this was part of the ready to wear to buy from the store. So I went to a pre-shopping event for this and this was an impulse purchase for sure, because I didn't even know it existed until I walked into the Balenciaga store and I was like, that's amazing. Classic me being like, oh, everything in my wardrobe is black or gray. I should probably buy something that isn't black or gray. So I go for the classic Gucci kind of beige gold. And then <laughs> I don't wear it. And I think it costs like 2,000, nearly 3,000 pounds. Um, I was obviously having a great day that day, so I was just like, yeah, whatever. So I took photos in this, obviously kept the tags in and stuff, and then it went straight back in the bag because it is like a very expensive child at the moment. Um, and yeah, this was in last year's video. I was trying to sell it on Grailed. Grailed? I don't know what's happened, but Grailed is just full of bots these days. So the amount of messages I get from fake accounts trying to trick me into clicking a link or something and putting my payment details in 
for them to pay me for this jacket, like off Grailed. I know what's going on, but Grailed needs to sort it out. So if you are interested in adopting a newborn puffer child uh, of Gucci Balenciaga, then please feel free to reach out because um, she's unloved in my house. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely one of those impulse purchases that I probably should have not done or been smart and got it in black because then I think I'd be wearing it every single winter since then. But like I said, it's the beige and the gold, it's just not, not my jam. The next piece are the HD sneakers from Balenciaga Winter 22 show. Uh, I was so hyped for these. I thought they were gonna be like the next big thing. They're obviously in the same style as like the Yeezy Adidas foam runner, like that sort of sneaker where it's like just one piece of plastic in a sense, but this one actually has laces as well. They're just not that comfortable. Uh, as we know, as I know on my channel because I review a lot of Balenciaga shoes, comfortability is one of the main problems with the shoes. Um, and these are not so comfy. I think because the toe is so turned up at the end, it kind of makes your toes do that. So it just makes walking a bit awkward in them. I have worn these on vacation and stuff like that. I have taken, I took them to Spain with me this year and stuff and I did wear them, but I'm just not like reaching for them all the time, if you know what I mean. And I think they were like 500 pounds, which in relation to Balenciaga sneakers these days, it wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, they are a cool concept and a cool idea. I just haven't worn them. Like I got the 3XLs this year. I wear those to death. I've worn my runners to death. I wear my Romeo, new Romeo mules, Sunday mules. I wear the Defenders, bouncers, sorry. Yeah, these definitely stick out in terms of uh, sneaker purchases that I just haven't worn. And I think, cause I went to the Winter 22 show, which was incredible, probably the best like fashion show set design thing I've ever seen in real life in my life. Um, I think I just wanted to like get a piece of that show. So this was like on my mind for that. Uh, but yeah, I just haven't worn them, so they're so cool, they're so sick, but yeah. Next up, another silly impulse purchase, which I think is really fun actually, uh, and probably one of my, the most recent purchase of things from this video. I got it because I was obsessed with it, and I kept thinking about it all the time, and I wore it for my friend's wedding, and then I haven't worn it since, and it is the Yves Saint Laurent, or Saint Laurent uh, lunchbox bag. It's very cute, it's very novel, um, it's not very practical. Obviously it's an evening bag, it's for like a dinner occasion, a wedding, which is what I wore it to, or no, that's kind of it. So it might come out again this Christmas, I might be using it uh, for certain events or certain things, um, but I definitely think this was kind of like a rogue, spur of the moment kind of uh, indulgent shopping situation. <laughs> is it something that I wear every day? No. Is it iconic? Yes. Uh, so yeah, this is probably like novelty bags, beware. Because if you're not wearing it every day, which you're probably not going to because it's a novelty bag, uh, do you really need it? That's what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, it is incredible. And I may use it uh, during the holiday season for sure. Um, but when I look at my wardrobe and took a step back, I was like, yeah, that probably wasn't the smartest idea. And lastly, it's two pairs of sunglasses. So I have like four or five pairs of sunglasses in my wardrobe. I wear one of them the most, and that's the Balenciaga Bat Rectangle Sunglasses. They are my like, I literally wear them with everything because I love them and I, they suit my face shape. Uh, and I feel like sunglasses are really difficult to find the perfect ones for your face, especially me. With hats and sunglasses, I really have to have a specific shape for it to, for me to feel comfortable in them. Um, and I don't think these two look bad necessarily on me. I just, like I said, don't wear them that much. So first we have the Wirecat sunglasses from Balenciaga. This shape is cool and I really do love them. However, the arms of the sunglasses are, like it says in the name, Wirecat. They are wires that pull out from the sides. So they're more like a visor so when you put it on, the wire is resting and curling around your ear and that's how they stay on. So there's no like, you can't like push them up and rest them on your forehead or you can't just like easily take them off. You have to have the whole like 
the visor on moment with both hands. So they're either on or off basically. And I think that is what puts me off putting them on day to day because they are quite uh, a bit of a faff to get on and off. But again, honestly, really, really cool shape, really cool design. Uh, they're just not very practical. Um, I love the show that these are from as well. They're from The Lost Tape, and that is one of my favorite Balenciaga collections. And again, it's something from that collection that I absolutely love. But I do have a super busy bag from that collection that I use every single day. So that was a better purchase investment than the Wirecats. And last but not least for this video is the Spike Rectangle Sunglasses. Again, if I bought them in black, we probably wouldn't be talking about them right now, but me being me, bought them in silver for no reason whatsoever. These are from the show, it was a spring collection for the New York Stock Exchange, so it's with the, when they presented the Adidas Balenciaga collaboration as well. Um, they, these are such a cool shape, they're all spiky on the side, they've got like lines throughout them, they are very big on your face. Um, I've worn, wore, I wore my friend Erto's black pair when we've been in like Berlin um, and Paris and I love them so much. I just, yeah, I don't know why I chose silver. Again, that's me being like, oh, I got them in silver because it's different. I like shake up my wardrobe a bit and then I never wear them. So Joel, just get everything in black. Don't, don't listen to other people. Just get it in black. So yeah, that's why they're in this. It's not that I don't like the glasses, it's that I don't like the colour. Says so that while I'm wearing a grey hoodie. This is coming out before Christmas for Arcana, by the way, if you're interested. So, that is a roundup. There's not many pieces because I feel like over the past year or so, I've really like refined the way that I shop and really think about things and how they'll fit in with the rest of my wardrobe. But then again, I'm only human. There's a few splurges now and again that aren't necessarily good investments. So like I said, that's good to take a step back every now and again, assess your wardrobe and be like, was well, this a good idea? Should I buy something like this again? That way when I'm shopping in the future or like trying to fill the gaps in my wardrobe, I can be self-aware. Let's say that. This is a self-awareness video <laughs> about myself. This is basically, YouTube is therapy basically for me. So I hope it helps you as well. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it makes you take a step back and look at your own wardrobe as well and kind of assess it. Uh, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications when I bring out a new video as well. Usually every Sunday if I'm being a good boy. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.